and welcome to another episode here on the Minecraft Let's Play Season 2. I'm standing here inside the base having a lot of small different projects going around here preparing for today's episode and so forth. So I have some bees going at it working at getting me some honey f uh, uh, getting some honey. We are going to make in the future episodes going to make some of these uh, uh, automatic uh, uh, bee, uh, yeah, bee farms a little bit better is permanently but now they are just temporary here. Uh, I've started on the roof of the base as well. This, this has been done during a stream that was a couple of weeks ago during your time. When I record this, it's just been around a week since the stream, but I think you will probably have four or five weeks or something like that. So I recommend you to, if you want to see more of me working on my base here in the background, what you don't see on the YouTube episodes, uh, leave a follow over on Twitch. The link is in the description and also maybe on the screen as of this moment if I know my, myself correctly so you can head on over there and follow me if you want to see more streams but because I think those are going to come uh, pretty frequently I think at least that's my hope but back to today's episode after all that info I have some uh, uh, bee breeding going on here as well I need a lot uh, a couple of honey blocks and that's why I have a lot of bee going as of this moment since last time you probably noticed that mm. some stuff has happened and this has also happened uh, behind camera I've flattened out two parts of my island this over here where we had two sort of hills going up here and also here where I did have my spruce trees growing and all of that but I have uh, decimated all the trees uh, flattened out the ground mostly it's a little bit left over there and the same over here here reason for that being is because we are going to build the stuff here later ah. on so I need to to start preparing for that bit when we get to that part and I've also started dugging up a hole here filling up in that hole with some deep slate bricks and some regular uh, stone bricks and uh, you're probably wondering what are you going to do down there I'm going to make a moss farm and uh, this moss farm is uh, going to provide me with a lot of bone meal because uh, uh, that's what I need uh, pretty much of because future projects are going to need a bit of uh, greenery and I need a lot of bone meal to grow those things but also to get a lot of white dye because I need some white glass and I don't have a lot of uh, any source of income coming from the bone meal or any bones because I don't have any form of skeleton farm and uh, I was first uh, thinking of oh you can make a skeleton farm using uh, for example, the Nether and the Soul Sand Valley. You can use uh, a, a skeleton spawner that I found out uh, in the Mesa there. But uh, no, we are in 1.17. So I decided that, yeah, we can use a moss farm instead, using the new block moss and all of its properties to make a very efficient bone meal farm instead. So that's what I'm going to build here. It's uh, have been shrunken into the or sunken into the ground a little bit because it's pretty big. Uh, and I decided to, to sunk it down because the building that I'm going to build around it uh, does need to have a little bit of space but not that much space. So uh, probably half the farm is going to be down here in the ground and the rest of it is going to stick up here and we're going to make a building around it. And now the farm is finished <laughs> a couple of hours later. I did decide to not show you the process of it because as you can see it's a little bit complicated. It is an El Mango design. I'm going to link his video down in the description so you people can follow along if you want to build this yourself. But that's why it uh, is not that great to show on camera because you need to, to jump around, get everything to do and so forth. So I decided to, to show this off in uh, after afterwards instead and we're going to lay the most focus on the build that's going to go around here later on. 
But first we're going to have to explain this how it works and uh, we'll see. I'm going to jump inside here and go to this part here. This is where all, all the stuff happens mostly. What happens down here is that you have this moss block and if you don't know the moss block can actually turn stone into moss as you can see here. Then we have some pistons that are on both sides of course. This is uh, mirrored on each side so it looks, looks the same. Uh, and we do have uh, some pistons here that are working to push in uh, stone inside of here. And when the moss block don't have anywhere to go, so when a new stone block over here gets pushed into this place here, the moss block that gets destroyed and, uh, and moves upwards and, and uh, uh, gets on top of the stone here. Then we have a very nifty design where the water gets uh, pushed out from here, water behind these uh, trapdoors, and gets everything into here. And with the pistons down here that they are, they can uh, still uh, leave uh, blocks that goes down inside of here and into the the tra uh, not trap doors, uh, the hoppers down there, where we have an array of uh, composters that gets everything that are green. So not just moss blocks, but also moss carpets, uh, azalea bushes, and so forth. Everything that's green that, that can grow on moss blocks when you bone mill them. And then everything gets turned into bone meal. Some of it gets transported in back into the farm. So everything goes into this uh, lane here. We have some ice pots down there that, that gets everything and gets pushed up here into this lane here. That gets everything picked up by these hoppers that uh, fills up the, the dispensers and the droppers and so forth into to feed the farm. But the things that are left that are not not used gets at the moment pushed into this place here <laughs> so yeah we don't have a working collection system yet not even a working uh, on and off switch we only have this lever here and uh, as of this moment i can reach it from here but when we build later on i'm going to of course both take the output and uh, uh, on and off switch move them into the build that we are going to build later on. But yeah, I can also show you how, how uh, this works because it's very efficient. We can see a little bit there how it goes. So we can jump. I think you understand it. It's a little bit loud, so I'm not uh, going to try and talk when we are close by. And there you can see the, the bone mill get pushed up um, into the system. And it's going to reach and put that off so it works fine. What it also has is that it has two of these lava turning into stone uh, things, so it gets pushed twice as much as if you ha would have had one. And uh, yeah, everything, like I said, looks the same on each side and you have a lot of redstone that, that uh, times this and works uh, okay. So now the most, uh, the farm is finished and it can go on and, and show up and get me some bone meal, but we need a build around this. So I'm going to start by building the foundation for it. We're going to have a foundation that goes up and, and over and just mostly covers this build. And then we're going to make a building on top of that foundation.
Okay, hope you enjoyed the time lapse of me building the building over in the overworld. It is a lighthouse as you probably saw during the building of it. And uh, we need a little bit of a special detail to that lighthouse and that's why I am in the end. You are probably a little bit confused as of this point. But if you don't know. Uh, when we have uh, uh, the crystals and crystals that are spawning here to respawn the dragon when you can do that so put n crystals four of them th those there and then you respawn the dragon uh, while these i think it's 10 or something of these pillars have crystals on them uh, and respawns and everything yeah you know you know the pr uh, procedure i hope at least and uh, what I'm going to be doing is actually to not summon a dragon. I'm going to steal an end crystal and I'm going to finish off the ritual and not uh, actually summoning the dragon. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope so at least because uh, what uh, I'm going to be doing is uh, uh, see that the crystal is going to spawn here. It's going to trigger this uh, redstone contraption and then it's going to steal the end crystal and I'm going to finish off the um, heal one of the end crystals down there so the dragon cannot respawn. And then I'm going to take that crystal with me down into the overworld. But to begin that I'm going to just uh, shortly explain this little contraption. It's made by a YouTuber uh, called eagleeyes 621 and his video is going to be down in the description if you want to do this yourself for some reason. So yeah, what it does is uh, it's at a strategic uh, distance from this point here because when an uh, end crystal spawns it's going to destroy I think it was 10 blocks in a radius around it and that's going to destroy this torch here and this obsidian block. What that does is that when that happens it's going to trigger this redstone signal since this disappears and it's going to trigger this uh, observer that is a fly machine, a 2x2 two two fly machine, very small. And when this block of course disappears at the same time it's going to be able to, we're going to be able to move this flying machine over here. It's going to go and take the crystal with us and then it's going to stop there by that obsidian block that I hope you can see over in the distance. Not easy to see those uh, here in the end but we need an immovable block because otherwise the flying machine is just going to continue. The one thing that's going to go wrong or can go wrong with this spot is that actually I put this contraption down in for example a very very wrong spot so for example if this is not one of the pillars that spawns early on so for example if it's one of the last ones then I'm going to have to do this again but I'm going to look for which which pillar is going to be the starting one so I can put that this contraption at that pillar instead if that doesn't work but I hope it will and uh, yeah uh, yeah I hope so we're going to start this off and we'll see what happens so first things first uh, we have our end crystals, uh, four of those, and um, yeah, we're going to just go for it, I hope. There, and the fourth one, and I'm going to have to ha keep a little bit of a look over there. And try and keep away from the uh, endermans as well. What, where does it start? It started there. Okay, so it's going to be in the middle. And I have an uh, enderman on me. No! I'm, I can't die here. No! This is not good. This is not good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was, of course, going to have that to happen. It always happens something when I'm doing this sort of stuff. I'm going to go back into the end and we'll see what happens. I'm going to get my stuff and I hope that the procedure didn't go with that. I'm going to think we're going to need a bow and some arrows. That's the first thing and some food. 
Okay, so we are back here now and we'll see what happens. I'm going to quickly go over and hope that uh, and see what's up and uh, hopefully we can stop the dragon from spawning if that's what's going Yeah, it's in the process. And we don't have a lot of it left. We destroyed that. Okay, and the flying machine is up there. Okay, I hope that this has done it. We did it there. We have my stuff as well. That's important to get. Okay. Otherwise we are never going to get this to work. <laughs> so, okay. Let me re recoup a little bit. We're going to change up my, my items. First, here, there, take those, we need that, we're going to need not that part, we need that one, okay, it takes a little bit here, wait just a little minute, okay, so not all of the stuff are going to be needed, They're that one we need, and uh, my rockets there, okay, so it looks like we did actually manage it and uh, I hope so, no? Okay, we don't have any crystal. That's... What did go wrong? It should be this one. But... Uh, or? No, there it is. We have moved it. Yeah, there. I went for, for the wrong one. Okay. There you can see. The crystal has been moved. And... Uh, not as uh, important as, or as much as I think it should. But maybe it was when I died or something. I, I uh, unloaded the chunks or anything. But we have moved it. And I hope at least that this is going to be able to be moved. Because that's... Uh, the most important thing here, there, and uh, I think I'm going to be a little bit safe here. Okay. Um, yeah, it has been moved at least. I want to try it out and see if it's uh, an actual indestructible, indestructible end crystal because that's what it should be. So if we land over... No. Of course, I'm not going to be able to fly now because this was not uh, the plan. It never is. Okay, so we're standing here and... Yeah. That's indestructible, I think so. Okay, so now just a matter of moving this and I hope that it can be moved. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Okay, after that mishap and also a lot of hours, finally, the end crystal has been placed above the lighthouse over there and the build is actually finished. And it has been a lot of work. The end crystal, yeah, it it was not the, the easiest part to do that. And accidentally, uh, some something happened, glitch or or something like that. So it got destroyed. So I had to redo uh, the dragon and everything. So um, when that destroyed, I got was able to uh, to start over again and. Uh, do everything once more, build everything and so forth. But the second time I managed to actually move the crystal, move it over and get it into the overworld here and then up on top of there. The whole build is not yet fin completely finished. I need to, for example, make a little bit more of the terrain work here. We can't have this large uh, drop uh, down into the ravine, I don't think. I'm going to terraform it a little bit around here. Also, this box of uh, deep slate is going to be a little bit uh, more hidden, so it looks a bit more natural to have put a lighthouse here. 
oftentimes I or, or, or at least on the pictures that I have uh, used for this project to to get inspiration I found the the lighthouses on on top of cliff, uh, cliffs and so forth and very high up so we, for example, I think it's because the, the sea, uh, the fishermen and so forth needed the light and it spread a much, much uh, larger area the higher up you were. So on top of cliffs and so forth. So that's why I'm going to turn this part into a more of a cliffside, I think, later on. But we're not going to be, do that in today's episode. There we have the crystal encased in some glass and a roof on top to, to protect it from anything happening because I'm not trusting it. Even though it's an indestructible sort of thing, I don't know what to do about it. So it's just going to be here forever until this world gets uh, deleted or uh, something like that. But yeah, I did put in uh, stairs and so forth and everything and... Yeah, this is great. A little bit of a uh, mishap is that the beam is going over there. It would have looked much better if it went out into the ocean, actually. But that's nothing I can actually control because uh, these things uh, point towards the middle middle point, uh, the zero zero coordinate and 128 blocks up, I think, or something like that. I haven't watched exactly. I don't. I don't know that it's the zero zero point of the world, and uh, yeah, from this point, it's over there, where the beam stops. So uh, that's not, nothing I can do about. But uh, who cares? It's a nifty design. I don't think anything else in Minecraft can actually uh, make it this way. For example, uh, having any light source or anything can do the same thing that having this beam that always is there like a light a lighting house so with that done and done for this episode is also done and done for i hope that you have enjoyed it i did uh, do it um very very much because we did a little bit of redstone both in showing off the moss farm but also in building since we built the lighthouse and also used a little bit of me minecraft mechanics when we used the end crystal here so i hope you have enjoyed it as i did if you did consider subscribing so you don't miss future episodes we're doing a lot more on this mushroom island in the future if you did and uh, don't want to subscribe you can also leave a like and a comment instead and tell me about it that way we'll see each other in the next episode goodbye